Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to be previewing the quarterfinal action of the Men's World Championship happening in the Czech Republic. So we'll hop right into it today, starting off with a little bit of the, of sort of the background of what's been going on the last 11 days. And one of the big things is, of course, when we look at a tournament like this, for me, it's my least favorite one to cover. If you're new to the channel, we cover all things hockey, and that includes the IHF. And this event, for me, is one of my least favorites to cover, because one, it happens right in the middle of the NHL playoffs. So for our North American fans, you know, you're sort of battling both sides. European, obviously, it's a bigger tournament. But for sort of the North American side, it's tough, because you're balancing both the Americans as well as the sort of the IHF that's going on as well you know it's right in the middle of a poor timing you know work week whatever it might be sort of in the middle of all things the third thing is that it's very predictable and this is one of my least favorite things about this tournament and you know there's been 56 games at this tournament and when we think about it 56 games you're bound for at least a handful of upsets right right well let me just pull this up i've compiled every upset i could find out of all 56 games I got two so for me you know it's one of those tournaments and I can complain all I want obviously I'm still gonna love this kind of hockey and we will have full coverage the next three days or next four days of the playoffs because this is when this tournament gets even better so the two upsets that have happened so far Austria beats Finland on May 16th three to two as well as Latvia beats Slovakia three to two in a shootout so you know, the two upsets, sure, it's always going to be a little bit of that. There would be an upset here and there just because it's hockey. It's never a predetermined result. But at the same time, you know, it's one of those tournaments where you can sort of throw a dart at the board right off the top. So for me, I like to prefer to watch, you know, and really cover that NHL side. But nonetheless, the next four days dedicated entirely to the double IHF, and then we will flip back and pivot back to the NHL. So with all that being said, Let's talk double IHF World Championship Hockey. And we'll start here, of course, with the standings. So these are the final standings for, for both Group A and Group B. So on Group A, we have Canada in first place, Switzerland in second, Czechs in third, Finland in fourth. Those four teams will make it to the quarterfinals. Fifth place is Austria, sixth Norway, Denmark in seventh, and the UK in eighth place who will be relegated. But remember, the UK had a couple good games, and I sort of talked about it off the top, you know. Not a lot of upsets in this in this tournament, really, ever. Always Canada seems to have some problems, but at the end of the day, they make the quarterfinals, and they seem to do just fine. The trick to this for the UK is, you know, they, put, they gave a lot of teams a good run for their money, just unfortunately couldn't finish it off. And so for that reason, they will be relegated in this tournament. For Group B, we have Sweden in first, U.S. in second. Sweden has gone undefeated, won all their games in regulation. Very impressive. See if they can, can do that success. Germany in third, Slovakia in fourth, Latvia in fifth, Kazakhstan in sixth. France in seventh, and lastly, Poland in last place in Group B. They will also be relegated. So both teams, both the UK and Poland, both will be sent back down to Division 1A for next year's tournament. So unfortunate for them. But nonetheless, here we have our top four from both sides. This is going to be your playoff bracket. We have it over here now with Canada, again, who will play Slovakia. This one will be happening at 10.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is going to be, I think, a decent game overall. Should be an interesting one. Because at the end of the day, it's going to come down to Slovakia's goaltending. It always has, you know, we've seen times where Slovakia has had really, really good goaltending. And they've looked really, really good. And then we've seen it fall down the wayside in the exact same way. It'll depend from, in my opinion, this game will depend on if Slovakia can find their goaltending. You know, they're going to play that trap style. It's how they, that's how they play hockey out there, especially in Europe. That European style has caused Canada some problems. You think back to all the events from this year, starting with... You know, the tough World Juniors matchup, which we were streaming live for, who knows, if Canada can make it far enough to get it to this weekend, there might be some live streams. So be sure to stay tuned, like, and subscribe so you never miss an upload. But the trick to this one, remember, if Canada gets boggled down on the system, it's going to be an early exit, especially with NHL players who don't really see that European trap style very often. You know, we've seen it a little bit with the Bruins this year. They've had some problems playing it as well. So the Europeans play it really, really well. For Canada, they need to be able to find ways to play around it. 
get to the middle of the ice if they can infiltrate the middle of the ice this game is over for slovakia they can only hold on for so long but at the same time so this game isn't decided right we've seen a lot of decided results this one is not one of them. In my opinion, Slovakia would not surprise me to upset Canada, but of course, time will tell. Second quarter final between Switzerland and Germany also coming up at 10.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This will be another good one. These are two teams that are very, very hot. We look at it, Germany, all tournament long, a little bit of a surprise to be as high as they are coming third in Group B. You know, I would have put Slovakia a little bit ahead of them just in terms of the rankings, but you know, they've earned every step of the way here. They won the games they needed to to get to this point. And I'll be curious to see if they can continue their success against a hot Switzerland team. The Swiss have looked really good at this turn. We'll see if they can continue it. Wouldn't surprise me for either team to take this one. Really, once we get to the quarterfinals, that's when these games start to get good. Toss-ups begin to happen. I don't think I can even pick a winner. I'd say slightly edging towards Switzerland, but just a little bit. I think just the way they've been playing, especially to this point, they look good. We'll see if they can continue their success. The next game will be between Sweden and Finland coming up at 2.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And in this one, it's going to be a good one. Whenever we see those two teams battle, it's always a good game. Sweden, you know, powerhouse, haven't lost a game in regulation this tournament. Finland, scraggly team that seems just to keep getting better and better as the tournament progresses. They've lost a couple big games. They were one of my upset teams. They were one of these upset teams. But at the same time, they're here. Anything can happen when you get to the playoffs. Doesn't matter if you go 82-0 and in the regular season for the NHL. If you can't win four games in a first round series, you're not gonna win the Stanley Cup. Same thing with the IIHF. If you're not gonna win the first game of a quarterfinals, you're not gonna win it all. Look at it, key to success for Finland, play their style for Sweden, play their style. It's gonna be a good game between these two teams. It always is. Curious to see which team comes out hotter that will likely decide the game. Whoever can get that momentum, we've seen it time and time again for a lot of these teams. You know, If they can score early, set the pace of the play, other teams can play from behind as soon as you get a team playing from behind it's all over we'll see if finland or sweden can do that in this quarterfinal and the last quarterfinal of the day between probably one of my games of the day we have the u.s and the home team czechia the czechs obviously are a team battling you know sort of battling their way through knocking it around had a chance today to lock it up couldn't will be interesting to see what kind of team they come out as. You know, the Czechs are a team, they've picked up a couple key assets from the eliminated, you know, the eliminated Bruins. We don't like to talk about it, but it's true. You know, you pick up a guy like Pasternak, you pick up a guy like Zaka. Those are two key additions to a team that can really help push that offense. As well, you have the big bad USA. Always gonna be a good matchup between these two teams. And I think, especially this year, you have the Czechs on home ice. The Czechs always play better on home ice, not to mention they've had success across the board this year in a bunch of different tournaments in the men's side and in the women's side too. Hockey is a growing nation, especially in Czechia. Would not surprise me to see them knock off the big bad USA. Definitely stay tuned for that one. They've already killed Canada once this year. So, I mean, let's be honest here. Are they going to kill them again? Probably twice, three times. What's three in a year, right? They've already done it. So what's the difference? The U.S. is going to be another team to definitely take note of. They are, once again, another solid team. They got four lines of players. They're going to look to sort of those key top six guys to really provide the offensive punch. We'll see what they can do. It's going to be a good matchup. All four quarterfinals really are toss-ups. It's a great part about this tournament. Is once you get through that preliminary round, it's anyone's tournament. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like to subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on the 2024 World Championship. Until next time, see you.